Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast and today we I have a very interesting, very exciting screencast for you because it is about Apple Watch Kit. Now we already know that Apple announced uh, the Apple Watch a couple of months ago and it will be released most probably next year in February 2015 time frame. Um, and yesterday, on the 18th of November, Apple announced the WatchKit SDK. So this is kind of like a Christmas coming early for developers because now we can go ahead and start writing our Apple Watch apps for our iPhone apps. Um, before we go into the code, which will be just a Hello World application, um, we should check out that how the Apple Watch architecture is laid off. So let me actually pull up one of the screenshots from uh, the Apple, basically from the Apple documentation. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay, here we go. So this is right from the Apple documentation, and this actually kind of give you an idea of how the architecture is laid uh, for the when you're developing for the Apple Watch. So it, you have to have a iPhone app for your Apple Watch. Okay, so there's no way around that. So you have to have a companion iPhone app. Um, so the iPhone app will only talk to the WatchKit extension and WatchKit extension will then talk to your Apple Watch. So this is how the communication is actually uh, being done now. If you have to share some data between the iPhone Watch, I mean iPhone and the Apple Watch, then you have to use the app groups to write the data into the app groups and then Apple Watch can then read that information from the app groups. The Apple Watch project that we will see only contains the resources in the storyboard and all the programming, all the other things that uh, alteration of the user interface or changes of the user interface, updating the user interface is actually done by the WatchKit extensions. Uh, that's because the iPhone app can actually access that WatchKit extensions. All right. Um, apart from that, let me actually go through another thing that is important. There are three types of things that you can actually make. So there's glances, notifications, and of course, the good old watch get app or the watch app glances are read only interfaces okay and as the name suggests they are basically glances you glance at your apple watch and it will tell you a time it will tell you which meeting is your next meeting okay so these kind of things they don't really have any interaction and for glances you can have or you will have a separate storyboard which is only for glances Notifications, we all already know about the notifications. It can be, hey, I need to get to a meeting, you need to get this, you need to get that, kind of a push notifications or local notifications. And Apple does provide you with a separate storyboard for creating the notifications. And the last one, that is the most interesting one, is the watch app. This is where you will actually design your watch app. And once again, the watch app itself will only have the storyboard and the resources associated with the storyboard, but not any alteration code, not any code that will update the storyboard. All that code will be written in the WatchKit extension. So let's go ahead and do Hello World app, right? So this is my very simple um, single view controller app, uh, and an iPhone app, if I run this, you will pretty much see nothing because it's a very simple app. Here we go. Okay, let me disable this so I can actually show you how to enable it. Thank you. Here we go. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add a little editor, add a target, and uh, I'm using the latest Xcode, um, which is available on the developer.apple.com. It's a beta version right now but you can download it and that contains the project templates and SDK related to the watch app. 
you can see that there is a separate project template now apple watch i'm going to select apple watch next um, it already shows the name basically it already uh, basically it just says whatever the name of the app is watch app okay uh, the language i'm going to be using is swift and these are the scenes so if i say include notification scene which is already added by default it's going to create a separate storyboard for the notification scene i'm also going to say include glance scene okay just to see what happens it, it's going to create a separate storyboard for the glance scene just go ahead and finish it and you will see that now we have a apple watch app and also apple extensions and once again you can see that in the hello world apple watch app it only contains the interface uh, and the storyboard file and the resources and nothing else and as we talked about it earlier this is our main watch app interface on the storyboard and if you want to make any glances this will be the storyboard that you will use for glances and this one will be used for the notification as they're all labeled so if i want to add something like a label or something so i'm just going to say ui label and pretty much the same techniques you're going to use uh, to add a label and i can go ahead and change hello watch kit and if you want to align it so you can say center and center okay um and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and run it now this will run the iphone app itself but what we need is the simulator for the apple watch so you're, we're going to go to the hardware we're going to go to the external displays and we're going to select the apple watch 38 millimeter or 42 millimeter i'm gonna, just going to select 38 so now we have the simulator of apple watch okay now from the scheme i'm going to select the hello apple watch watch app okay it doesn't really matter what iphone you're going to select you can select anything uh, because it's automatically going to be running in the apple watch simulator and here we go it ran on the apple watch simulator and now it says hello watch kit and that's pretty much it that's all you need to do to get started with the apple watch uh, this is a very very interesting category and uh, just stay tuned for more apple watch kit videos i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much